no long intros instagram if you want music video inquiries and website down below for my presets this is the arm and dangerous breakdown tutorial but for vegas pro if you edit in premiere and after effects i suggest you watching my first pro video which is just for premiere and after effects this is for vegas people all right we're gonna start off with the effect that everyone wants to know this masking with this blocky kind of text or you know this blocky effect behind it uh, the way he did it, like I said before, is he'd used a white screen and then just chroma keyed him out. I'll show you on the screen right here how to do that if you have a green screen or if you're subject to the green screen. If you don't have a green screen, you're going to have to mask out the person by hand. And I'll show you how to do that by going to pan and crop and mask and then just go through every keyframe and then make sure your mask is pretty good. Uh, I already. So once you've done all your masking or you've done your green screen, if you have a green screen, um, you'll have your clip right here. Here's the one I'm using. It's not masked that great. I just did it really fast. Um, but now you need the blocky solid color behind him. So all you need to do is go to your media generators, scroll all the way down to solid color. I'm going to use Scion because that's what the video kind of looked like. And I'm going to just drag it underneath him. If you can't drag it underneath him, you need to make a new video track. Um, just right click and make a new video track and then you know you should be able to drag underneath them now you have this so what we need to do now is we need to crop we need to mask out the scion so the way we do that is we go to this little button right here click that click on mask and then with with this it's kind of hard to know where exactly the mask is so i'm just going to do it roughly i guess at the same time you can kind of you can make a bad mask on this layer and then just copy it but i'm just going to do this and adjust it let me uh, do this real quick and then I can adjust it the way I want to let me go around him like this and then you kind of want it if you want it to be you know the same format kind of boxy um, just make it like that make them sh make sharp edges uh, do that a little bit and then I'll move that right here okay maybe like right here okay so now what we need to do is we need to go one frame forward make sure this is checked so if you go one frame forward this will go forward as well and we just need to ma and just copy the mask and then just animate it as we move one frame forward now i was doing this in the premiere one and i found out that if you do it every single frame it doesn't look as smooth and right so i recommend four to five frames and then just animating it like that it'll look more like the video so I'm gonna go one two three four five and then I'm just gonna animate it like this and then I'm gonna move it around a little bit I'm gonna move this right like that okay and I'm gonna go five frames again one two three four five move this that way and then at the same time, you also want to play around and move the blocks kind of drastically. It gives it that, you know, effect that they're moving more. So, like, I move this one out more just so, it, you know, it gives it that effect that he had. Do it like that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and then you have to watch out for that. Make sure you're clicking on the point when you move it. I move this down. Move this up. Move it like that move this up uh, I'll move this back in I move this in a little bit more like that okay so now if we look what we have already we'll have the blockiness move with him and now just to get the background I didn't notice this when I did the first part the premiere part but it wasn't a solid color it was a kind of a uh, gradient so what we need to do now is uh, Vegas has their own gradients. You can just go to color gradient and then just use it. So if I do this one, I put that in here. I need to make a new layer. So I'm gonna go right click, insert new video track, drag this up, drag this underneath, and then I'll have this. Obviously it wasn't that drastic. It was something more like this that to kind of go with the video. And then now we'll have the same effect the video did. And obviously you want to go throughout the whole video. I only did a f couple parts, but that's how you do that effect in Vegas. Next big kind of effect really is this transition. It's kind of like a frame by frame transition. I see a lot of people doing it now and I'll just show you how it's done in Vegas. 
So you're going to want to have your two clips side by side with each other, right? You're going to want to, you know, have your transition. It's going to be a hard cut. And then you're going to want to take a picture. So save the frame of the last frame of the first clip, if that makes sense. So go up to the top and then just click save. It'll import it into your project explorer. And then you're just going to drag that on onto on top of the second clip. When you do that, I'm going to make it 10 frames long. So the transition is going to be 10 frames long. So I'm going to go from the cut of the clip and I'm going to go right 10 frames. And then I'm going to cut it and then I'm just going to cut the picture from there. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the beginning of the picture. And then I'm going to mask out the background first because that's how the video did it. And then make sure it's negative so it looks like it's wiping away. And then I'm going to mask out the background. Go two frames to the right, cut it, and then mask out the second clip, as in I'm at the clip the next pan crop, and then just keep deleting keyframes. So I'm gonna take off the background again. And then I'm going to go two frames again, cut it, go to the next pan and crop, go to the mask. And then I like to just start deleting keyframes because it looks the same thing without, you know, just easier to work. So I, I click this little keyframe delete button and then I just start deleting keyframes. And then I finish that until my transition is over, which is 10 frames. So it should be five masks in total. Here's how the final product will look. And you can see that every two frames, more of the mask is moved away as in more of the previous clip is masked away. This next effect is pretty much my boof pack tutorial that I made a while back. So go watch that and I'll have a link at the download to like free shockwaves which is the same overlay that he used. So I pretty much just got roughly the same looking closest overlay that he used and there's just a few things that you need to change for this one. Um, you need to drag your overlay on top of your clip and then go to the left and then the, press the little green button. If you can't see it, go to the left and press the three arrows then ch make sure composite mode is checked. Click the green button and then make sure uh, 3D source alpha is checked. And then now once you need to do that, go back to the little three, three uh, black buttons or three bars I would say and then change or check track motion and then once you track motion you can be able to change the Y rotation so I change the Y rotation to make it look like it's on the floor and then to get rid of the black that we need to do now go to your effects panel and then look up chroma key and then I just chroma key the black put it on top of the overlay and then just push uh, put on the black and then mess with the settings so it looks nice and then all you need to do now is change the color uh, I did this with color corrector just one. I just dragged that on and I changed all of them to blue and it gave me this color shockwave on the floor. So here's what it should look like. I kind of, I, uh, I timed it so right when it hits his foot, it'll ex expand and explode. And then I did, I copied it and then I actually copied the track and then did it again with his other foot. And that's pretty much how you do this effect. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And tell me if you guys really like this, uh, me doing it first and then I explain it later. Or if you guys want me to go back to where I, I explain it live and I do it at the same time. Um, Instagram website for presets blah 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 later